three more acts and then you head back. You still pumped up? What? Yeah. Hey, when I say comedy, you say pow. Comedy. Wow. Comedy. Wow. Yeah. Guys, give it up for your next. recently lost 20 pounds and I'm really proud of him except now it's time for him to get some new clothes because he was telling me he was grocery shopping at No Frills the other day and he was waiting at the checkout and his pants fell down all the way down to his ankles and because his hands were full he couldn't pull them up so all he could do is turn around to the couple behind him and say I'm so sorry so very very sorry and I'm pretty sure that the moment my dad turned around that couple looked at each other and said we should have gone to Loblaws. This shit would have never happened at Loblaws, right? So, as soon as my dad's telling me this, like, finished telling me this, I looked at my dad and I'm like, oh, dad, please tell me you were wearing underwear. You were wearing underwear, right? He was like, of course. What kind of a person do you think I am? I was like, well, I think you're the type of person that doesn't know how to put pants and a belt on properly, so it's not an unreasonable question, right? You don't know how to use underwear. But um, I found out recently that my uh, husband's nickname in university was Furious or Furious Dan. Yeah, and I, I mean, that came as a shock, but then it also made me think, I feel like everybody who's in a relationship, you deserve to know what your partner's nickname was, you know, before you get serious with them. For example, if my nickname was Gang Bang Jenny, <laughs> I feel like Furious Dan has the right to know. But. No, furious married gangbang. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> um, the other day, my husband told me, um, I'm ready to have a baby. I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's so easy for you to say, because it's so easy for you. Like for me, I have to factor in all the things that are gonna happen to my body, right? Like a friend of mine got a vas while giving birth. Do you know what that is? No? Well, I'm gonna tell you, that's when your vagina and your ass meet. When two bottles become one. Yeah, there's a Spice Girl song about it, and two bottles. I'm not ready for swollen ankles, let alone some busted Frankenby. But we'll see, we'll do it, we'll do it. Uh, a girlfriend of mine and I were talking, oh, no, this is what I actually want to tell you first, is <laughs> Um, I'd like to confess something. I slept with a grown man with a belly button ring. That's what I want to tell you. Yeah. And I know what you're thinking, right? You're like, what kind of a man has a belly button ring? And was he a genie? No, he wasn't. But can you imagine, right after sex, he's like, I will grant you one wish. I'm like, oh my god, okay. Like, I wouldn't wish for anything small, like a tea or sandwich. I'm going big, like a yacht or an island. But then your friends and family would totally know you boned a genie. You know, they'd be like, oh, cool, yeah, where'd you get that yeah? And I'm like, oh, and I'm like, well, you didn't have it yesterday, so, oh, shit, you fucked a genie, didn't you? <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> yeah, I know I didn't get anything out of it except a lifetime of regret and the occasional flashback. Um, for example, I was like washing the dishes the other day and I see a ring of water. And then I'm like, oh my god, ring, belly button ring, and I'm there. I'm back at it. I have to like hold onto the counter and steady myself and like oh, focus on my breathing so I don't pass out. I'm like, why did I do that? You know, I thought my brain was supposed to like protect me. You know, like, isn't this supposed to be a repressed memory? This is traumatic. You know, I can't remember details of a book I read two months ago, but I can have vivid memories of a sex capade I had eight years ago. It's disgusting. Oh my god. Uh, a friend and I were talking about voyeurism. It's been in the news in the last couple of years. Um, there was a CBC employee a couple of years ago. This year there's a CTV um, actor that got busted for voyeurism. And I told her, you know what, I'd be really upset if I was one of those people if that happened to me. And she was like, why? I'm sure a hundred dudes have seen you naked. I was like, what? What kind of vibe am I giving off, you know? Like, maybe it's my nickname, I don't know. <laughs> But either way, but then I remembered, I'm like, ah, oh, this is the same friend that like years ago we wrote down lists of like people we'd slept with. My list had names, hers had descriptors, you know, like white t-shirt, striped shirt, and maybe Steve. So, there's some projection going on. But um, I got the night, so I think that's it for me, guys. And I appreciate uh, you coming here. Thanks so much, thank you. 
picture of Ganesh and he was like seriously bro for a bloach um, <laughs> right you're gonna leave your people for a goddamn you know what I mean here's the thing about being Hindu it's almost like imagine a billion people who believe in the Lord of the Rings because that's basically that's what we are we got like elephant gods and you know what I mean blue people it's, it's a lot of fun um, but I feel like if you're gonna make up a story go big right you know, like some people, what do you got? Like a virgin birth? That's not, isn't that the oldest trick in the book? A little bit? Like, wasn't everyone back then like, oh my god, I got knocked up? <sighs> gods, it's gods. I totally, you're gonna kill God's baby? Come on. Sex? I've never even heard of that. What are you talking about? Um, Alright, uh, that was okay. Uh, <laughs> that was, uh, that was okay. Why don't we bring up another comic, yeah? Guys, up. There's just two more comics and then your headliner. 